All right, how do I look? John, I look all right. Do I look? I know, right? Snazzy. Hey, everybody. It's Carlos from Mortals Inc. Podcast here, and I have, uh, as always now, Mikey. Always. On the little mic over there. How's it going, everybody? Keyboard or whatever he does all day, and apparently just sits around and does nothing. Basically nothing. <laughs> as you can tell from the awesome artwork behind me, we're going to be talking about MetaZoo today. MetaZoo is a collectible card game that just came out of nowhere in the last year. For some reason, the price was really high and it drove up. I believe it was from demand. Uh, this looks like something you would play, Mikey. What is it? Just tell me the gist. <laughs> what, what's the gist? Like This art looks crazy behind you. Have you ever what played Magic or anything? I played a little bit All like right. back so in 2013, M13 days. Re- this kind of reminds me of when Magic started. They had like lower end art. And I'm not bragging on the art because it's good for what it is. It's like watercolor and simple art. And sometimes it looks a little scary, but at the same time, kids. Um, it looks like a fun That's game. scary. Yeah. It's a fun game. It plays like Magic. I shouldn't say that. That's not fair. Basically, you have a hand of deck of cards. You have like 30... This, 40 to 60 cards uh inside of a bunch of different creatures and and monsters and uh uh, abilities and artifacts and you put down they call it um i can't remember what they call it so you're gonna have to look it up but they call it it's 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 your energy so it's different like uh you know like the shadows or the forest or the water and you put down the energies and you summon your creatures and you attack the other uh the player and at the same time he can block with the cards he has the difference is you can also set out uh environments so in the center of the uh, between the two battles, there's an environment. So it could be nighttime and thunderstorm in a field. The cards themselves have abilities or uh, deficiencies based on whatever field is out. So you can play off that. It's uh, somewhat collectible. It's actually very collectible. And it's based on cryptoids. You know what cryptoids are, Mikey? I have no idea what cryptoids are. Explain them to me. Like Bigfoot. Bigfoot? So Big- like... Mythic legends, yeah, mythic legends. I think they're on, they're not they're on Northern America right now, so it's like a moth. So man. these things are real. This moth behind you is this moth man behind you or something. Well, it's not real. It's a it's a legend. So who knows if it's real though? It might be. But they uh, use those as creatures, like Jersey Devil, uh, Mothman, Bigfoot. Can you think of anything else? Loch Ness monster. I don't think they have that. mermaids. Do they mermaids? Count? Yeah, mermaids count. Uh, Lake Erie monster. Since we're so close to Lake Erie, uh, Lake Erie monster. You didn't know about that. No. <laughs> Maybe Wait, before. so is this game first edition? Or like, when did this game come out? I, really, it came out last year. And for some reason, it played for a little bit, and it got a whole bunch of hype, and then the price for it went crazy. Well, yeah, somebody called me here at Immortals, Inc., and they mm-hmm. said, um, hey, this new game MetaZoo's out. And I'm like, what's MetaZoo? And then I told you about it, and uh, now we're here. Oh, yeah, you did. And then Walmart, you know. We looked at the Walmart price. Oh yeah, we looked at the Walmart price. It was like what three thousand dollars for a box. <laughs> yeah, about. And I'm like about four thousand for a box. Yeah, four thousand no. for a booster box, and that was at Walmart. I think but it was like I'm pretty sure Walmart has like secondary distributors, so I'm sure that was like uh, their version of Amazon. But yeah, no, we're not selling for four thousand uh, dollars. I think these de- we have some of these release event decks. I think they're going for about twenty one bucks, and then we have booster packs. I think they're going for five ninety nine a pack or something. Immortalsinc.com. Like yeah, Immortalsinc.com. We had some other stuff, but that sold out right away because I didn't even know how popular it was. But the game is very playable. It is very uh, fun. It's good for kids. It's good for any ages. It's good to jump in it, the first part of. The one thing I did like about it, well, the artwork, which some people hate, but I like the artwork because it, it reminds me of like a simpler time of magic or a simpler time when you're young or just a simple card. It's not all... Basically like fifth grade art class type. I, I'm type not vibes. ragging on these artists at all. This no, is no, you. No, no, no. This, I'm, who said fifth grade art was bad? I think I made some masterpieces in fifth grade. I've seen them. No, you did not. All right. Well, let's get back <laughs> to what you were saying. Yeah, it's just a simpler artwork and it's fun and it, it's there. You know, It's just a lot of fun. The other thing I liked about it, which I didn't know until I started reading the cards and watched a, a couple other people play, there's things on the cards that re- reflect your environment like an example would be there's a clown card like a a killer clown card and it says you get like plus damage if there's actually balloons somewhere in the room you're at so like if somebody brought in a balloon you could play that card and you would get extra damage there's a it triggers off like how many light bulbs you're sitting under so if you're playing at a table and you look up and there's four fluorescent bulbs that's how many bonus points you get if it's ah, so it's an environmental type game too yeah it's a it's a it's a uh, uh you know like if it's raining outside if you just had a steak dinner like last night if you uh hung around with the, your, your hair's red or some they're all printed on the card the rules the bad part i did see about this speaking of printing on the cards is that there's a lot of rules like there's a lot of symbols that affect each other 
so like your card might have six or seven different symbols and there's a little rule book that has to show what each symbol does and how it interacts with other symbols so that's kind of important so you can't you can't really play this real quickly you have to look and there's a lot there's a depth to it but at the same time you could play it if you miss it i don't think it's the end of the world it's still a pretty good game a whole lot of exceptions basically is yeah what you're saying. but if you're looking for something light and fun and something to play uh this would be good hopefully they're going to print more so you won't have this problem of uh, uh high prices on these products but i think they're going to keep it up and uh go but i hope they do this should be a fun game this should be something as a uh, uh like an extra game or something you can play with your kids or with your wife like i know your grandmother which would be my wife is not allowing me to open the booster packs that i got in here because she wants to open them because she said she wants a mothman and a sasquatch interesting so mother <laughs> so if you guys are around and you want to stop in to immortals inc or you want to go to immortalsinc.com you can uh, get some metazoo subscribe hit that sub button we want to get this youtube going and uh make uh, mikey internet famous and you yeah i'm too old uh mortalink.com subscribe like us on patreon i'll see you guys later